Hey guys, Cello Nation live! Today is day five of the Galamian Scale Party. Okay, we're gonna do five keys. We gotta do this. I was gonna take some time today, but it turns out I have to get my dog into boarding because I'm going on a trip tomorrow. And I'm ready to do it. Okay, here's how we're gonna do it. Everybody write your name in the chat as you come in and just join in, okay? Here's what we're gonna do today. We're doing five keys. C, G as in God, D as in dog, A as in apple, E as in egg, okay? Five keys, got it? Write it down. Don't expect me to say it clearly, all right? Write it down. You need to know the order. Zero, one sharp, two sharps, three sharps, four sharps, okay? All right, now, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to do all the two octave scales first and the two octave arpeggios just to keep track and see how it works. I've never done it this way before. Then we're gonna do all the three octave scales and the three octave arpeggios, if if I can do them. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for the challenge? Let's work our brain. On the two octave scales, we're gonna do up to 16th notes. And on the three octave scales, we'll go up to 12 or even 16 notes per bow. Okay, you guys ready? Hi, Deb, hi, Shu. I hope your connection holds too, but you can always watch it later. That's the beauty of online cello. Okay, you ready? Everybody got your cello out? I'm moving back a little because my cello tends to be too loud. I don't really like playing soft. I mean, I like playing soft, but I don't want you guys to think that, that you're supposed to be playing up here all the time, right? Because you're not. Okay, whoever is in here, hi. Hi, Adrian. Everybody say hi. Now we're going to do two octaves around the circle of fifths. All right, I'll tell you as we go what we're doing. C major, two octaves, the scale and the arpeggio. When we do the scale, we're gonna do quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, and 16th notes, okay? Just to get nice and warmed up here. And today in two octave scales, let's not do galamian. We're gonna add galamian on the three octave scales, okay? So just straight for two octaves, two rhythms in the arpeggios, major, minor, and diminished and then we're going to go to the three octave scales. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Straight C scale. Ready? Go. Two octaves. true in the C scale, but it's true in the minor arpeggio, right? Okay, uh, now we're going to do uh, the next two octave scale, which is, that was C, it's G. You ready? Two octaves, the same way. Ready? Go. <laughs> Eighth notes, third. 
two octaves. You guys ready? Oh, one, four. Ready? Go. <laughs> Ready? 
about this fan happening. I don't think I can turn it off. Someone said to put something under it, but I don't think I have anything to put. Oh, maybe I do. I don't think that'll work because it's not hot under it. Let me know in the comments if you if you can hear me okay, all right? I'm going to put this under it. April said maybe this will help. You guys write in the comments how you're doing. We're going right through stuff today, so I don't know. I put something under it, but I don't know if it's going to do anything. Okay. Let's see what anyone says. Shoe says, sounds great. No fan sound, really. In Alaska. Adrian says, can hear okay. Uh, Judy's here. Hi, Judy. Claudia. Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Meg. Sounds like a plan. Okay, good. The reason we're doing two octaves without Galamian today is because it got confusing, so I thought maybe... Take out the tads. I didn't mean to have my backpack in the picture. Maybe take out the tads for the two octaves and just play it straight so we don't get confused. And then we put it in for the three octaves when we pull out our big guns, right? Okay, you guys ready? Where are we? We're on our new key, E major, right? Two octaves. You guys ready? We did C, we did G, we did D, we did A. What? Let's do E major, you guys. Ready? Two octaves. You're going to start on a one, right? And listen, this is a messy study, right? This is a lot of stuff to think about. But this is what happens when you practice one key for a really good week or even for a month. Then you come back and you maybe can do them all like this or maybe not, right? It's messy. Don't worry. Just meet yourself where you are. Ready? E major. First finger on E. Ready? Go. scales or even one just do that you guys ready e major half position here we go ready go chat stuff so that other people will come in later and watch this okay because it's really helpful when you do engagement in the chat 
All right, you guys ready? C major, three octaves. I have 15 minutes to do five keys. You guys ready? We're going to do Galamian, though, okay? And we're going to start with eighth notes, okay? C major, ready, go. <laughs>
So what? Ready? Go. <laughs> Write it in the chat, or later on, if you're watching this, guys, write it in the chat, okay? You can print out the Lamian Scale Method sheet. It's printed all over Cello Nation. It's in the files. Just go in there and get Galamian sheet, okay? You guys ready? What are we on? We just did G. We've got D. We've got A, and we've got E. Let's go. D. You ready? Three octave D or Galamian. Ready? Go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
between G and D, so I know I have to work a lot because it's right here. The G fingering goes to fourth finger on the G scale and on the D scale it goes to first finger, I think. Yeah, and I have to know the difference. My brain starts to freak out a little going, oh, wait, where am I, wait, what? So I wanna practice mixing these back and forth because when we're improvising right now, we're doing things in one key, right? Like Celtic tunes, that's why we're doing it because they're not that hard. But what's gonna happen is in the jazz pieces that we're doing, it's gonna start to move into different keys. So we want our brain to be sharp so that we can do that, you know? It doesn't have to be four octaves like this. This is pushing us, right? 
in the jazz and in the improvising, we can just be in first position. You know what I mean? It's not any big deal. You can do a really good solo in first position or between first and fourth. Okay, you guys, write in the chat how you did. I'm thinking I might do Galamian, um, since it's Galamian Scale Month, I may do another um, session of Galamian Scales this month and do um, combining rhythms, like two plus three plus six. You do two, three, six, three, six, two, six, two, three, ba da ba da da one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Super fun. It's on your Galamian scale chart, the things that you mix together. It's very complex. So we're moving up in here, guys, all right? Okay. She says, it helps with my improv when we're in a jam, and the leader looks at me and says, take a solo. That's it. I have a story about that. I have to go take Biscuit. But um, <laughs> I was playing in the subway, and I had my brother come and play with us in New York City. He just sat in and played Take Five with us in the subway in this band. And this, and you know, he's a, my brother is a pianist. But this was a long time ago, and I remember the band director just pointing at him. Solo! Right? That's happened to all of us, but it just cracked me up. I was like, oh my God, is my brother going to be able to take a solo? Yes, he did. Of course he did. Um, it's starting to rain. Okay, in Alaska. Oh, okay, Heidi. Okay, good, guys. That's why I did all the two octave ones first today. So you can keep this video. Hopefully you can keep using this video if you need just two octaves to get eighth notes, triplets, um, and then sixteenths. That's for people who don't have as much experience maybe, right? And you can just start on that with C major, right? The two octave ones. Then that's why I put all the three octave ones together, right? Okay, guys, let me know how you did on this. And if you watch it later, write in the chat how you're doing on it. I got to go take Biscuit in because I'm going to be late and I have to pay money if I don't get her there by noon. So I'm going to get the girl in because I'm going on a trip to help my daughter pack at Oberlin. So everybody keep practicing Galamian. Start learning Galamian. Today we did two octaves non-Galamian. Three octaves Galamian, 48 notes going up and coming down. All right? Okay, guys, I will see you guys later. Bye now. I hope you guys had fun and now you're warmed up, right? Now you can practice anything. Over and out from Cello Guru Central. Oh, by the way, Monterey Cello Congress is happening June 8th and 9th. Go into Cello Nation to possibly win a free ticket. Come on, guys. All you have to do is tell your favorite story or play Titanic on the cello, and you can put your name in the drawing. Find Ryan's posts, Ryan Williams. Find his post, put a little, your favorite cello story in there, and get a free ticket to Monterey. We want you there. If you're intermediate-ish or up, let's do this, guys. It's going to be so fun. We're going to drink margaritas around the fire. We're going to have s'mores, and we're going to do storytelling, and we're going to do Celtic music. Moses Sedler's going to be there. It's going to be awesome. Also, there's the Cello Freedom Live and R. We're going to do Black Orpheus Jazz Standards. That is May 18th and 19th. Sign up in Cello Nation. You can also sign up on an email I sent out today, okay? Cello Freedom Live and R Jazz Edition. We're going to do Black Orpheus. It's going to be great. Bye, guys. Love you.